Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install Notepad++. Yes, Notepad++ is a text and a source code editor. It's pretty much used on Windows. It supports typing and editing and allowing working on multiple open files for single windows. It's pretty much used and created for with C++, but it's used for so many different types of programs from like Java to Python, from simple text reading, there are so many stuff that can be done and read on there. So regardless, I'll be showing you how to download and install this program. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, just go ahead and open up a browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And to make this easier, I'm just going to go straight directly to a site called notepad dash plus dash plus dot org and this is what you're going to see so it's notepad dash plus dash plus dot org and you're going to click it and it will take you to this site and this is the program notepad plus plus and it tells you what it is notepad is the free um source code editor and notepad replacement that supports several different languages it is running on M microsoft windows environment as used governed by the gpl license so it's a pretty much a useful system right there for it Regardless, we're going to go to the top right here on the left where it says download. And you can choose different versions that you want from releases. I'm actually going to choose the most recent one right here for the Notepad++, the 7.8.6 release. Now, over time, this could be old, but it should be similar in the same way of downloading it. So let's go ahead and click the file. And it comes to this list. It tells us cookies. I got it. And we're going to scroll down. Be careful with the little cookies. There's lots of stuff that are there. And we're going to look for the, and here we go again, wonderful ads. They love to come up. So we're going to scroll down until you see it. And here's the download versions right here. There's the installer. There's the 7-zip language. There's a 7-z package. We're going to choose the installer for 64-bit. And it looks technically, if I'm looking at this correctly, that source codes, I want to be sure everything is smooth before we select. And the one I'm currently seeing up there is the 32-bit that is showing the download 32-bit. I'm actually going to choose the 64-bit for my computer that currently uses, so it'll be this one. So I'm going to choose the installer. And the program has pretty much been downloaded. Let's go ahead and click it. And you could possibly be prompted for this. We're going to go ahead and press yes. And here it comes into the installation list. I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. Now again, if your computer is like an 86 version, um, you see 32-bit, 86. Then you probably need to download this one if it's mostly 64-bit, then you'll choose this one. In conclusion, the 32 can work on the 64-bit, but 64-bit will not work on a 32-bit. Mostly 32-bit is used mostly for older systems out there. But regardless, let's go ahead and just X this. And let's continue the installation. It tells us installer language. You can choose what language you want. I'm going to leave it as English for me. Then press OK. Welcome to Notepad++ 7.8.6 setup. I'm going to go ahead and press Next. It'll tell you a little bit of information about the license agreements. We're going to go ahead and press agree. It'll choose the destination of the folder where it's going to be installed. Just press next. You can choose whatever plugins that are in this list for it. You can customize them, themes like that that are there. I'm actually going to leave it just as it is. You can put minimal list if you want to. I'm going to leave it as custom how it was. Then press next. And it has the option if you want to create a desktop shortcut. Go ahead and click it and press installation. So the program got installed. It's right here, Notepad++. And it tells us if you want to run the Notepad++. So I'm going to go ahead and press Finish. And here it is. The Notepad++ has been installed on here. Now the cool thing about this is that there's so many different languages. And you can see there's all different ones that are there. There's C++, C, there, there's CSS, there's dev files, there's editing scripts, there's so many. Let's see if I can find one. Is there... There's JavaScripts right here. There is so many that are there. There's shell scripts, there's SQL. So many things that you can do. Virtual basics, visual basics, sorry about that. But regardless, this allows you to come and edit and read the text very clearly. And you'll see color tones when they're there and when it's created. But that's pretty much it of how to install this program. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.